first like, thought about the job. Uh, that the truck looked better than when I bought it four years ago. It's game time and I'm up one. How many bottles of talk? So we're about building relationships. So I'm a FEMA, Wanted. The fastest growing brands for detailing products, chemicals, and buildings in the world. Hey guys, welcome to another edition of the Weekly Buff. And this week, we've got an off-road vehicle, the notorious Ford Raptor. This is one of the best off-road trucks for consumers. They've been the leader in the truck industry for a long time. This customer is a new client, his name is David. Now David actually has been racing professionally in trophy trucks for the last 30 years. Obviously, he took the truck off as a pre-runner um, when they're out before they do the races. And the truck came in and had severe what we call desert pinstriping. What is desert pinstriping? Severe branches and scratches down the sides, the hood. It was really gonna require an aggressive action or paint correction, which would consist of dry sanding with our Eagle Abrasive system. As you can see, the hood before and after here was absolutely dramatic in the sanding and polishing. We came up with a pattern product combination, uh, which took us about three steps, not including the sanding. Um, Alex, our shop foreman here, is gonna talk quickly about what he sees the plan of action is gonna be. What are you doing to this uh, Raptor? Because this is going to be the next weekly buff. Um, well, I'm starting off. We're going to try to see if we can get it done in less than three steps. So I got a microfiber pad in 2000, and that's working pretty well. So, so using the 800 with a high speed and then going to the 2000? We're going straight microfiber 2000 right on top. Now, after Alex and I talked, Josh decided that the side of the truck was gonna need a high speed rotary process because our dual action polisher wasn't gonna be aggressive enough to level out some of the imperfections. We had to sand the rear bed sides, the doors. As you can see, we've got focused lighting on the vehicle. Once we came up with the pattern product combination, we applied our new Evo Pro Graphene ceramic coating. This is awesome. Now, this is one of the highest content of SiO2 in the market, silicon dioxide, over 90% actual solids and two types of graphene components to give it a candy shell on the vehicle which is super hard and resilient towards future damage as you can see the final results were absolutely stunning we also had to renew all the plastic and vinyl trim the mirrors the hood and then we applied our evo pro graphene ceramic coating to the face of the wheels um, the final results in this truck the guys were super happy. Uh, I would say we got about 85% of perfection. Um, obviously there were imperfections on the truck we could not remove. Let's go outside and take a look at what the vehicle looks like outside. The customer's on his way. Okay guys, we're gonna go check out the Raptor. The customer's on his way. Looks absolutely stunning. You can't see the desert pinstriping anymore. I mean, look at the detail. I can see the pavement and the buildings behind me. Now it's got some rock chips and other damage that we're not gonna be able to change, but this customer is going to be shocked. He said, I know it's not gonna be perfect, but I'd say we probably got it 80%. There's some damage up here where there's cracking in the clear coat that we couldn't change. But if you look at the clarity and the detail after the grafting coating, it's pretty freaking killer. There's Matt giving a final touch up. But uh, I think this guy's gonna be shocked. What do you think, Matt? Oh, yeah. Hey, guys, welcome to another edition of the Weekly Block. We got a delivery from Dave Heath, Mr. Off Road Racing. What is this here? Here is Racing. Early Racing, Fusion Off Road. It's a 6100 Spec Trophy trucks. Yeah, we do all the best in the desert. Uh, we'll be doing store next year and all the legacy races here in Nevada. So is that your team? Do you run the team? Uh, I'm a navigator in the 6100 truck, so 550 horsepower, trophy trick truck in the desert, 125 miles an hour, whatever we can hit. So he's a navigator sitting in the passenger seat, right? Yes. So he's got to make sure the driver knows who's going to go, because if he doesn't, we are in the ditch and can't win races in the ditch, right? In the base plan. If they go bad, it's all on me when it's going good. It's all them. So Dave brought his Raptor down to us. Uh, it's 2010. It had some desert pinch striping, right? Yes. And scratches. So Dave, so when you walked up on the truck and people were watching the weekly buff, what was your first response, like, thought about the job? Uh, that the truck looked better than when I bought it four years ago. And what about the pinch striping? Where that color? Uh, pinch striping is gone. It looks fantastic. It's smooth. It's glossy. Uh, I believe I've saved my paint job for quite a while. That's what I was worried about. So now we got you as a customer for life. You're going to bring the other guys and drive the truck. I'm sure we're going to be racing. Maybe we'll be a sponsor, right? I have a 
that or something, I could uh, take care of that for you. <laughs> so guys, be sure to like this video, ring the bell, subscribe, and leave a comment in the box below and tell us what you think and what your thoughts on the Raptor are because I'm a Raptor guy, you're a Raptor guy. Right? Yeah. And uh, stay tuned for the next weekly buff. Dave, thanks again. All right. We'll see you guys soon.